everybody, Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers and I am here with John. Hello, John. Hello, Joyce. And John and I are on the Celebrity Edge and we are about to start our full ship tour. Starting on deck two forward, we are at the deck two forward elevator bank. And the only thing located here is the medical facility. So hopefully none of you will ever need it. But if you do, it's deck two forward. And this is the medical facility. Now we are at deck two aft elevator bank. And this is where you will find destination gateway the basement, which is a teenage hangout, and some restrooms. Over here, just past the elevator bank, on your right is the basement. And they have a list of activities that are available for that day. You'll also find these on your Celebrity Today paper in your cabin as well as on the app. And let's see if we can go inside and just take a quick peek around. Nope, it's closed, okay. So it's locked right now because we're in port, so they're not open. I'm just gonna give you a little peek inside. It's basically a place where teenagers can come and hang out. It's kind of their own space. I can see that they have a ping pong table and I know they have video games. They have a foosball, they do trivia, and it's complimentary. So this is a good spot for your teen to hang out and meet some other people. And then just past that, straight ahead, destination gateway. This is where you would get on and off the ship at the ports. This is also known as the gangway. It's a very large space, it's very modern. It's very different from any other ship I've ever been on. Tells you where we are and all aboard time. And there's your exit to get off the ship. Now we're on deck three forward and the only thing here are cabins and the camp at sea. But I don't know if you can hear it, there are a lot of kids there and they are right there in the entrance, so obviously I can't record children. But the camp at sea, the place that the children go uh, for their activities is located just off the elevator, three forward. Deck three, aft elevator bank, and we're actually going to walk towards forward to show you the grand foyer. On deck three, the ship does not connect all the way through. Right now we are on deck three aft, kind of midship. And this is the martini bar. Standing at the back of the martini bar. And you can see there's lots of seating down here. Little seating areas over on the side for you and your family and friends to hang out. And there's more towards the middle surrounding the stage. And up a level, up three steps to a platform. And this is where they play the live music at night. And more seating on the other side. And that's deck four up there, that's Cafe El Baccio. So you can sit up at Cafe El Baccio also and listen to the music. And there's a staircase to go up or down from three to four. And that is the martini bar. Let me see if I can back up and show you. Gorgeous is that. And that's the martini bar. 
And on this side, on deck four, is La Grand Bistro Specialty Restaurant, and we'll show you that when we're on deck four. I just wanted to give you an idea of what is open to the Grand Foyer and the Martini Bar. And walking through the Martini Bar or the Grand Foyer brings you into the guest relations area where they have several things set up. First and foremost to the right is guest relations. And they have some seating areas if you need to wait. And it's a really lovely space. It's very unique <coughs> setup compared to every other ship I've ever been on. And they have a total of three guest relations stations with two representatives at each. And some additional seating. And on the other side is the shore excursion desk. This is where you would come to either service an existing excursion that you booked online ahead of time or to book a new excursion on your current cruise. You can just tap your CPASS card and you can check out the shore excursions that are available right there on that little pad. And there are more stations over there and there. So there's a total of 12 stations where you can book a shore excursion. And then they also have the Private Journeys Concierge Desk here. And that's a different type of an excursion. They're smaller groups, more exclusive, and they have a representative to assist you with any of the excursions you'd like to book. Okay, now we're going to head aft on deck three, heading back through deck three, aft elevator bank. We're gonna go to the left because on the right is just staterooms. This is very cool. This is just off of the shore excursion area and the wall slowly but surely the wall panels are slowly but surely turned and you can actually see the ship's hull it's very cool and continuing on deck three aft are two of the four main dining room restaurants. The main dining room is no longer one large room. It's now divided into four specialty restaurants. They are all included and you can choose to eat in any of them any night and as often as you'd like. So if you decide that you like Tuscan on night two and want to eat there the rest of the cruise, you can. You can try all four and repeat as many of them as you'd like whenever you'd like. So this is Tuscan. It is the uh, Italian inspired restaurant. All of the four main dining restaurants are much smaller and they all have their own decor set up and individual menus. I believe that the smaller space, the smaller rooms, give you better service and experience. This is Tuscan. And back out into the foyer area, there's a staircase that goes up to deck four. And deck four is where the other two main dining rooms are. We'll show you those when we're on deck four. Very pretty piece of art here in the center. Just opposite of Tuscan is Normandy. Normandy would be your French inspired cuisine. And again, 
smaller dining room, very different decor, very different setup, its own individual menu, and just a lovely, lovely space. They really, really, really made a lot of terrific changes when they made the Edge series and the main dining experience is one of them for sure. Here we are, deck four, forward, elevator bank. And on deck four, we will be showing you the Cosmopolitan Restaurant, Cypress Restaurant, the Casino, the Club, Cafe Obaccio, La Grand Bistro, Future Cruise Vacations Office, that's where you would go to book a future cruise, the Celebrity Eye Lounge, the Photo Gallery, the shops that are the retail stores. Just off the deck four forward elevator bank, just a tiny bit more forward is the theater. And this is where they have all of their nightly shows. There's two shows typically, one at seven and one at nine. And they show a different show every night. There's a marquee here just outside the theater and it shows you what show is going to be happening tonight and the times. So there's an early seating and a late seating for different dinner times. So whatever time you go to dinner, there's a show for you. And again, every night the show is different. Just to the right before entering the theater is the gentleman's restroom and a little bit past it is the ladies restroom and then there's also a family restroom where there's a changing table for babies. Entering the theater, the theater spans two decks. It's on deck four and deck five and we're entering on deck four. It's an amazing theater. Immediately walking in on your right is a staircase that goes up to deck five. So if you come in on deck four and decide that you'd rather sit on deck five or it's already full, you could just take the staircase or go back out to the elevator. There are some counter seats here in the back with stools. And right here in the back when you first come in is where the handicap seating is available. And there are some companion chairs, so they leave space for a wheelchair. And I'm just gonna walk down a little bit because this theater definitely deserves a little bit of a closer up without the overhang. That's the backdrop for the stage. And it's fully digital and it's amazing. This is the most beautiful theater on a ship that I have ever been in. And this is the same or similar and all the Edge class ships. So that would be the Edge, the Apex, the Beyond, and soon to be the Ascent coming out in December of 2023. We'll show you the theater from deck five when we tour deck five. Now headed out of the theater. Now we're headed aft and we're going to cross over to the port side and I'll show you the other entrance and there's another venue over there that I want you to see. So we're just crossing over. This is called the meeting place. And this is where you would come if you were in need of a large group meeting area. You would have to prearrange it with the ship, but that's what this is for. And right here is the other entrance to the theater. Back to the elevator bank. There's another space here that is referred to as the club and they have all different kinds of events here. They have games, they do trivia. So it says here on the wall, the club. And they do different kinds of events here. 
Right now, they're showing a movie. So let's take a peek in, but we're gonna need to be quiet because it's a movie. We don't wanna disturb anyone. So at night, it's the club, it's like a disco, but they also do trivia. There's a staircase to go up to another level. Sitting up above. Very dark in here, I'm sorry about that. Shadow monsters. And there's a staircase over there to come back down. And there's seating all around. And there's a bar in here. There's more seating. It looks like we're the only Eight ones in years. here. It's a nice, really large screen. And there are additional, like, TV screens. Around. It's a great space. And like I said, they have lots of different activities here. I love that they have so many different smaller venues on this ship for different activities. Coming back out of the club, straight across from it is one of their retail stores. This is kind of a mixed store. They have a fragrance section and they sell all the name brands, all the high-end fragrances. And then they have sunglasses and costume jewelry and some clothing, some brand name clothing for the edge. They have brand sunglasses. And this third section here is their liquor store. If you buy liquor on the ship, they will hold it for you and deliver it to your cabin. Then last night of the cruise. Just want to give you a look of how open this ship is i love it it's absolutely gorgeous and if you're looking at this because you're booked on the edge you're just gonna love it absolutely love it coming up here on our right is the future cruise office and this is where you would come to book a future cruise. This is the lovely Tonishka. She is a representative here at the Future Cruise Department and you would come and see her. All you have to do is tap your C-Pass card right here and that will put you onto a waiting list to see someone. And if there's nobody waiting, then you're next. And then you just sit down with Tonushka and she will help you find the absolute best future cruise. And there's all kinds of benefits that come with booking on board. Yes. I'll let her tell you that. <laughs> Low deposits and extra on board credit. Low, say that again. Low deposits and extra on board credit. Okay. So you get a low deposit and extra on board credit. So it's definitely a win-win. And what better time to book a cruise than when you're on a cruise? And they have specific hours. Um, and it varies by cruise and, and by ship. And just on the other side of the future cruise office is the photo gallery. And it's kind of the same premises over there when checking in, just tap your CPAS card. And on this screen, it'll show you all of the photos that were taken of you from their professional photographers throughout the course of your cruise. The actual photography part is complimentary. The only thing you pay for are your photos if you choose to do so. And then they have different packages that you can choose from. Just past the photo gallery is the studio. And this is where you can come to make an appointment for a private photography session. The actual photography session is complimentary. The only thing you pay for are your photos if you choose to. And here's the office for that. You need to make an appointment. And just past the photo studio is the Celebrity Eye Lounge. Celebrity Eye Lounge is where you would come for everything internet. They have someone here certain hours. They have on the wall here 
a big description of how you go ahead and connect to the internet if you want to figure it out on your own. But if you have an issue, your Wi-Fi plan, you, if you want to upgrade your Wi-Fi plan, anything at all pertaining to the ship's internet, this is where you would come to do that. In addition, they sell Apple products. They have laptops for you to use, complimentary. You would have to use your own Wi-Fi plan, but you can use their computers. And the staff in the iLounge is very, very helpful and very, very knowledgeable. So that is the Celebrity iLounge. Now we're entering into one of our favorite places on all celebrity ships, and that is Cafe Albaccio. Cafe Albaccio is very large on the Edge Class ships. There are some seating areas over here to the right, and just opposite that is the coffee bar. The drinks at Cafe El Baccio are at a charge. They do cost. There's about a 10 page menu. And if you have a classic drink package, most are included. If you have the premium drink package, all are included. And these are the delicious treats that are available, complimentary to everyone on the cruise. This changes every day. Sometimes there's a couple of them that will repeat, but for the most part, it changes every day. So if you see something you like, you should definitely try it because it might not be here tomorrow. And I'm just gonna give you a quick glance over these. There's always a gluten-free option. There's always a no sugar added option. And there's cakes and tarts and pound cake and cupcakes and cookies and muffins. And again, they are complimentary. In the morning, they are pastries and croissants and donuts. And then around noon, they change it to cakes and pies and cookies. And this is the Cafe El Baccio counter. This is where you would come to order a to-go coffee, tea, cocktail, water, anything like that. If you'd like to sit at Cafe El Baccio, then you could just sit in one of these lovely seating areas and someone will come and serve you. And it's a great location for people watching. It's a great location for listening to music. All of these seating areas here along this glass wall, this area looks down onto the Grand Foyer. And that's where the Martini Bar is. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Let me walk down a little bit further to show you. And then we will come back around on the other side and show you what's on the other side of the Grand Foyer. It's such a magnificent ship. I'm just gonna swing back around and just show you the Grand Foyer. How beautiful is that? The interior design and decor on this ship is just astonishing. It's truly, truly beautiful. Okay, tucked over here before we head over to the other side, this, they have this pearl ship. It's a great photo opportunity. Stand in front of it and have your photo taken. It's made of all different pearls, different size pearls. Let me get in a little closer so you can appreciate it. Is that gorgeous? Oh, pearls. Just swing back around and show you Cafe El Baccio from the other end. And just walking across, we're gonna go to the other side. It's just a big open area with the Grand Foyer in the center. And right here is the entrance to the casino bar, but we'll come back to that. So completely opposite of Cafe El Baccio is La Grand Bistro. And it is a specialty restaurant on the ship. You can book ahead of time online and they very often, if not always, offer a discount for booking ahead of time. 
During the day, they serve lunch, and in the evening, this is where the specialty dining La Petite Chef is housed. Okay, continuing aft on deck four. We'll go through the casino bar and then we'll show you the casino. Just past La Grand Bistro is the casino bar, which leads right into the casino. And we're just gonna do a quick walk through the casino because we're gonna do a full casino tour. That'll be a separate video. There's an ATM machine for your convenience. So the casino kind of starts out here in the casino bar, but it truly begins through this doorway. We're in port today. We're in Cozumel. So the casino was closed. So they have lots of machines all around both sides. And in the center are all the tables. So again, we're just gonna do a quick walkthrough right now because we are going to come back and do an in-depth tour of the casino. And down there at that end is the cashier. And we're gonna head out. There are three entrance exits. One that we just walked in, one at the other end by the cashier, and then this side one. The side one brings us back out into the hallway just past Cafe El Baccio, just for a location reference for you. And this is a watch store. Time is now. And they carry some of the best brands of watches. And then they have a jewelry store all fine jewelry and more jewelry. And next to that, store where they sell mostly purses, but they do have some other items like sunglasses and some Swarovski crystals jewelry. Just past the shops is the ladies restroom and the gentleman's restroom. So if you're in Cafe Abaccio or the casino, this is a great restroom location for you. And at the very aft of the ship are the other two main dining rooms. This is Cyprus, which is Mediterranean inspired menu. And we're just gonna go in and take a quick peek around. So again, there's no large main dining on the ship. It is four individually theme inspired restaurants. This one is Cyprus. And they're much smaller venues and they each have their own unique menu. And they're all very conveniently located in one area. I'll show you that when we go outside. So this is Cyprus. And coming back out into the foyer, there's a staircase between Cyprus and the Cosmopolitan. And that staircase goes up to deck five. And that's where you would find blue and also Eden and a lot of other things. We'll explore deck five after we finish with deck four. And, and earlier I said there's another exit to the casino and that's right here. And just inside there is the casino cashier. So we're at the other end of the casino now. This is the Cosmopolitan and we'll take a walk inside here. This is American inspired cuisine. So you can see each room has its own theme, its own decor, different setup, but they're all on the smaller, that chandelier, all on the smaller side for what I believe to be a much better dining and service experience. 
Okay, so that will do it for us on deck four. We're gonna head up to deck five and we'll see you Here there. Here we are on deck five forward at the elevator bank. And on deck five forward, we will be showing you the other theater entrance, concierge, captain's club, the other level of the club and more restrooms. And on five aft, we will be showing you Eden, specialty restaurant and area, Blue, the specialty dining for aqua class guests, Fine Cut Steakhouse, specialty restaurant, Raw on Five, specialty restaurant, the art gallery, more retail shops, and restrooms. Just heading out of the elevator bank on deck five, right to the right, on the starboard side of the ship is the deck five theater entrance. And we showed you deck four, now we'll show you deck five. And coming into the theater on deck five, just to the right is a staircase to go down to deck four. And this is the theater from the view of deck five. There are counter seats, just like on deck four, here in the back. And it's just beautiful. Actually, let me walk over here, because I realize it's not the best view. And let me show you. By the way, these are great seats. These little seats here, they have a little table in front of them and it's really a great view. I highly recommend if you can get to the theater early enough that you grab these seats. It's a perfect spot in my opinion. That's the theater. Let's do a full view. It's a beautiful, beautiful theater. Okay, back out onto deck five. And we're gonna cross over in here and go out on the port side because just outside the theater on deck five, oh, here's the handicap seating. So just outside the theater on deck five, on the port side, is the captain's club and the concierge office. There's restrooms for ladies and gentlemen. And here is the captain's club and concierge. So this is where you would come to meet with the concierge if you are in the concierge class or, or if you are in the aqua class or a, a suite. You can also come here for any captain's club questions, but they can also assist you with making reservations, help you with booking of really just about anything that you want or need, spa services, etc. But also if you're in a suite, your butler can do that for you too. So let's take a peek in and see if someone's here. Okay, so someone, again, another guest is in here. So we're just gonna show a quick span around without showing them at all. And there's one desk and then over here is another desk. And there's two people in here to be able to assist you. and back out and now we are going to head towards the aft on deck five and here is the other entrance to the club it's the same location as on deck four but this is this is the upper deck of the club on deck five let's take a look in it's dark if you remember when we were on deck four they're showing a movie this will show you. Oh, let's see if we can put the... I don't know if the flashlight makes a difference. I don't think it does. 
some leather seating. Like some chaise lounges. There's actually an officer in here watching the movie. And all the way around, there's seating. And there's a staircase right here to go down to deck four. And there's a staircase over there in the front to go down to deck four as well. And that's deck four down there. First off, the name. There we go. Mighty Thor. And that is the club on deck five. Back out into the just opposite the club and just outside the theater on the starboard side on deck five is the beginning of Park West Gallery. It's an art gallery on the cruise ship, celebrity as well as a lot of the other main cruise lines have a partnership with Park West Galleries and they offer free art seminars, free art auctions, and I highly recommend you attend something that they do while you're on the ship. You're definitely not obligated to buy anything, but you certainly will learn something. And I love learning, so. And they have some beautiful art to look at. Okay, coming out of the art gallery, we are now headed back into the Grand Foyer area. We'll be looking down over the Martini Bar and the Grand Foyer. And right here on the left is Raw on Five, which is the ship's sushi specialty restaurant. As every other venue on the ship, it is beautiful here and this area here is just for display so let's take a walk in it's very nicely set up the tables are very nicely spaced apart it's not the largest venue but it is absolutely beautiful and just outside of it, across, is the Grand Foyer. And look at this absolutely beautiful, beautiful light fixture. There's the Martini Bar, two decks down. So we are on deck five, and the Grand Foyer is open to decks three, four, and five. And it is so pretty. And on the other side is Fine Cut Steak Restaurant, and we will head over there now. There's a staircase that goes down to deck four, which will bring you into Cafe El Baccio. And we're gonna cross over here to show you Fine Cut Steakhouse which is an additional specialty restaurant. This is obviously their steakhouse. There's their wine showcase here. Very pretty. And this is fine cut. John and I haven't eaten here yet, but we have some friends and family that have, and they've said it's very good. And again, this side looks down to the Grand Foyer and the Martini Bar. So while you're eating dinner, you can enjoy the live music as well.
Okay, continuing on deck five, headed aft. This brings us directly out into the additional shopping area. These are your higher end stores on deck five. They have a Bulgari store, fine jewelry, purses, and on the opposite side, they have Cartier. There are the Deck 5 aft elevators. And there's a lovely seating area here. If you wanted to sit someplace that was quiet, it's uh, an amazing, every area on the ship is amazing, to be honest with you. Okay, we're gonna walk through something that neither John or I or any of our friends have been able to figure out exactly what it is, other than an art installation. It's, we call it like the spooky, scary hallway. I'm not sure what it is, but let's walk through anyway. I'm gonna show you. You can decide for yourself. It's very pretty and it's gorgeous on camera. Look at that, John. So there are these, I don't know what they are, bronze, goldish colored. They kind of look like tree trunks, maybe. Let me see if I turn the flashlight on if it changes it. Not really, a little bit lighter. And the floor has sparkles in it that twinkle on and off. And the ceiling has different color lights that change. So it gives it a very, I don't know, spooky feel to me. And then there's a mirror, so it makes it look like it goes on and on forever. So let's walk through. <laughs> And then they have this very ominous kind of, it sounds like under the sea sounds to me. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this space. We open up into the area where blue is, but I want to point out to you that there's a staircase here that takes you down to the restaurants. When they say restaurants, they mean the four main dining restaurants. So this takes you down to deck four, and then there's a staircase there, just like this one, that will take you down to deck three. And that's the location of the four main dining restaurants. So we're about to enter the space called Eden. You can see the big sign over there. But before we get into Eden, here on our left, is blue blue is the specialty dining room for aqua class guests only if you're in an aqua class cabin this is where you can eat your breakfast and dinner blue does not serve lunch they have breakfast and dinner every day you do not need to make a reservation you actually can't make a reservation but if you have a specific dining time that you would prefer, if you show up at that time every night, they will do their absolute best to give you the same table and the same server every night. If you haven't figured it out, their theme is blue. I love these cobalt blue glasses. So fleet wide, blue has the same feel to it has the same cobalt blue glasses, has the blue runner down the center of the table, has the dyed blue roses on the table. But then of course, each ship has its own little unique touch. So this is blue. Heading back out, we're going to enter the Eden space. Some seating areas over here that are unique and different. Is a swing seat. We see a lot of people take photos there. 
the Eden sign. Hello. The Eden sign, another good photo opportunity. Eden is amazing. And just here to the left on our way to Eden is Tiffany and Company. In case you decide to buy yourself or someone you love something special. And there's more seating areas along the way. Now this, this was the entrance to Eden all along. And this is the actual Eden space. It's very cool. And there's so much to see. It's a very unique experience. Eden is three decks, decks four, five, and six. And I will show you all of those spaces. This is the Eden Cafe. They have like a continental breakfast set up and they have lunch only on sea days. They have a carving station, they make fresh paninis, they have soup. It's really good. John and I didn't realize this was here until the last day of our cruise, the first time we were on the edge. So they have soups and salad and they have a carving station and they make fresh paninis, as I said. Let's see if we can get a good image of the menu. And there's seating outside, which I'm gonna show you as well. And they have coffee station, hot chocolate, tea. And just through these doors, they have seating area so you can dine al fresco. seating area for the Eden Cafe. Let's continue on to the rest of Eden. There's a lot of seating space inside for you to have your Eden Cafe food, but also to just sit and relax, enjoy the space. Eden has its own bar. In the evenings, they have shows in here, besides the shows that are in the theater. And they're very, they're very different. They have live music in here. And let's take a look up here. A couple steps up. There's all these seating areas and this is the most beautiful view up here. Lots and lots of space. Great place to come and sit. Anytime, whether we're at sea or in port. Absolutely beautiful. And there's another level. Up to deck six. And just gonna give you a quick span around because we'll cover this when we go up onto deck six. Actually, there's nothing else on deck six, so we'll show you this. So just more seating. 
It's a good place to come and sit to watch the shows that they do in the evening. And I'll give you a view from up here. This is the lift to come up to this area if you can't walk up the stairs. And then this space goes all the way around. Couple steps down. restaurant deck four and we're gonna head down there next this goes all the way around the aft of the ship there's deck six over there that's where we just were oh hi John he's down down there okay let's walk back and I'm gonna leave the camera on so that you can see the view going back the same way because it's the other side and it's a lot to see and if you're anything like me I like details so many places to sit so if you get here early enough, I think they have shows at like 10 or 10.30. If you get here early enough, this is a great spot to sit for the shows that they do in the evening at Eden. It gets very, very crowded. So that would be one of my tips for sure. If you wanna see any of the shows that they do in Eden, they're about a half hour long and they're very interesting very artsy shows. Definitely a different experience and one that I highly recommend that you check out at least once. Now we are going to walk back down to deck five and actually this wooden floor here is where they do those shows. And across this area, we are going to go down the stairs over here to deck four, which is where the actual Eden restaurant is. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets us know what on our channel you're enjoying and it really helps out the channel and we super appreciate it. And if you haven't done so already, we invite you to subscribe to our channel. You just hit subscribe below this video and turn on the notification bell and that will let you know of any new videos that we post. John and I have 65 cruises booked and we have lots and lots of adventures ahead and we'd love to have you join us. So this is the Eden restaurant. If you have reservations or want to make reservations for Eden, this is where you would come to dine. That's the kitchen over there. It is an open kitchen concept so you can see them cooking your meal. And it is such a beautiful space. If you need a lift or elevator accessibility, on deck five, you just take the elevator down and this is where you would get off that lift. And you just come back up and there's a ramp right here and it brings you right into the restaurant area. It is such a beautiful space. And John and I are actually dining here tonight. Let's take a walk over and just give you a scan around. So pretty. 
we are celebrating my birthday. Today is my birthday. And let's head back upstairs. And we're going to go outside now to show you the Eden space okay, on the outside. outdoor open decks. More unique space. Lots of space to sit. Another great viewing spot for entering or leaving a port. And it ends here in the middle with a glass wall that looks down into Eden, where we just were. Okay. We are in Cozumel today. Look at the wall. They have beautiful, beautiful paintings on the wall here. Eden is a very colorful, very happy and open space. And it has a little bit of a covering, so you're protected from the sun some. And over here is a solid covering. Okay, back inside. And that does it for us for deck five. We are going to head to deck 12 now on decks six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11 are cabins and staterooms only. So we're gonna go to deck 12 now and we will see you there. Now we're on deck 12, forward elevator bank. And just outside of the elevator bank, deck 12 forward is Lumine. Lumine is the sweet only specialty dining. It's Lumine at the retreat. It looks like they're maybe cleaning the floors. I'm gonna see if I can take a peek in. This is the hostess stand. This is where you would check in. And this is where you would eat breakfast and dinner if you are in a suite. Lumine only serve lunch on embarkation day and sea days. They are not open for lunch on port days. Such a pretty space. John and I did a separate video for dining at Lumine. We recorded a breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner. And we put them all together in one video to show you the menus and to give you an idea of what to expect when dining in Lumine. I'm just gonna walk to the end here and turn around to show you the full length and the entire picture of Lumine from the opposite direction. The food in Lumine is wonderful. The menu for Lumine is only for Lumine. You will not find it at any other venue on the ship. And if you are sailing with friends or family that are not in a suite, if there is availability, you can ask the maitre d' or hostess if you can bring your friends and there's a charge for that. I'm not positive how much it is. It used to be $35 a person but it may be more than that now, I'm not sure. So that is Lumine. And now we are on to deck 14. Now we are on deck 14 forward. On deck 14, we're going to show you the solarium and the spa and fitness center. And then we're gonna show you the pool and the ocean view cafe. Just off of the deck 14 forward elevator bank is the spa. This is the reception area. And down this hall, at the end of the hallway there, the doors is the thermal suite area. 
and that is included with aqua class cabins or there's a charge for any other guest and down there are also the spa rooms so any services that you're going to have done they would be down there and up this staircase is the fitness center so that's where we will be going next so this is technically deck 15 but they list them together as deck 14. immediately to the right when you first come in they have a class sign up so you can tap one of the tablets here and you can sign up for today's classes it lets you know what the special offers are which classes are complimentary and which classes have a charge they also show on this tv a full schedule of the services but it is a rotating screen so we'll see if we can catch that on our way out they have fresh fruit cold water for you towels for you to use and then they have refrigerators with cold hand towels in them for you very refreshing after your workout and they have all your usual that you would expect to find in a fitness center there's your treadmill we have the weight training machines and the ellipticals and they have bicycles free weights and they have three peloton machines they have a motion studio where that's where they do yoga and they have stretching mat and they have workout walls. So, sorry, they have four Peloton bikes. Okay, that does it for the fitness center. Let's see if we can catch this before it changes. Here's today's classes. Hopefully you can read that. And you can always pause your device. So this changes every day, obviously. And the classes are dependent upon the cruise that you're on, etc. Okay. Let's head back down the stairs and continue on deck 14. Back at the deck 14 forward elevator bank. We're heading out to the solarium. There's actually quite a few people in here. So we're going to do our best to show it to you without invading anybody's privacy. There's a lot of very comfortable seating. This is an indoor pool. It's enclosed. So there's hot tubs and there's a large pool in the center. And lots of seats, very comfortable lounge chairs. And over here, they have the spa cafe. And the spa cafe during lunch they put out light bites and they put things out like cucumber salad and quinoa salad and chicken salad and there's a little tapas style just little light bites they also have a juice bar and a smoothie bar and those are included with the premium drink package so the food is complimentary but the fresh pressed juices and smoothies have a charge and that is the indoor solarium these tables and chairs over here are for you to have a little bite to eat at the spa cafe or you can take it with you to your chair and there's a restroom ladies and gentlemen restroom right here the towels on all celebrity cruise lines at all the pools towels are on the chairs for you. They also have towel stations where you could grab some extras. You don't have to go to a towel station and check them out. They let you use them and they don't check up on you for it. 
we're adults. They trust us. And then through these glass doors, outside of the solarium, is the general outdoor pool. Lots and lots of chairs. No shortage of chairs, for sure. And I'm just gonna step up. Good, how are you? Just gonna step up onto this space, with my glasses on, because it's very sunny, and show you the pool. And from deck 15, I'm gonna look down and show you the pool area from up above. This is the pool bar. And those tall things, that tall thing, it looks like a champagne glass. That's a hot tub. I'll show you that when we're up there on deck 15 as well. Very nice space. Got some little love seats here to hang out by the bar. Okay, let's continue on. So there's lots of chairs in the sun. There's also lots of chairs in the shade. And there's some showers. Shower right there, right next to the pool, so you can shower off before you get in the pool. And we are headed aft still. So at one end is the spa and fitness center, then the solarium, then the outdoor pool. And now we're headed to the Ocean View Cafe. There's restrooms here. There's one here and one on the other side. And there's the entrance to the Ocean View Cafe. Or you can go here. This will take you to the elevator bank. This is the deck 14 aft elevator bank. And we are now going to head into the Ocean View Cafe. And I believe this is where we will find John. Okay. How's everybody here? Hey, welcome, welcome. Jefferson here in Jerry, working Celebrity Edge. Where are you from, so Jefferson? Philippines. From the Philippines. From nice. the Philippines. Nice. 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 We are both from the Philippines. Both of us are from the Philippines as a widow. Very nice. nice. Ron Five, Rooftop Garden Restaurant. Rooftop Garden and Ron Five. Nice yes. to have you here. Thank you. Nice welcome. Thank you. Okay, this is Ocean View Cafe. When you first walk in, they have a hand washing station, which is very important. There's a lot of people in here. I'm surprised. Do the best we can. Right here, when you first walk in, is the ice cream station, Scoops. And they have complimentary ice cream, but you can also get gelato there. The gelato has a fee. If you are elite, elite plus, or Zenith, you get one scoop per cruise complimentary. And just to the left here, is El Secondo Baccio. So this is the second El Baccio. The first is on deck four, which I showed you. And this is the second one. And it makes it very convenient for you so that you can get your coffees here in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening. And it's the same coffees that you can get at El Baccio. But remember, they come with a cost. If you have a classic drink package, most are included. If you have the premium drink package, all are included. So this is the buffet. We're gonna just do a quick walk through. There's lots of seating on the outside edges. And in the center are all of the food stations. And they have fruits and salads and chef specials. And they have Latin favorites. And they have a grilled section where you can have any kind of meat just about freshly grilled to your liking. The food on Celebrity Cruises is amazing. Best food at sea that I have ever experienced. And I have been on quite a few other cruise lines. And we're gonna head to the back where they have the pizza. More seating over here.
and they make, I don't even know. They're making pizza right now, cool. I'm gonna ask them about how many pizzas they make a day. Hi. Good, how are you? So this is the pizza station, and this is Matthias. He is currently making some fresh pizza dough. Yes. And Matthias, how many pizzas a day do you think that you make? <laughs> Uh, like a hundred, yes. A hundred sure. pizzas yes. a day? Yes. And all different kinds? Uh, we have a pizza of the day plus four kinds of pizza. Pizza of the day and yeah. four kinds. So if I wanted you to make me a special pizza, could you do that if you yes, have the for ingredients? Sure, for sure, for sure. Wonderful. How order. That's awesome. Yes. And how long does it take to make a special order pizza? Uh, depends on the order. Okay. Yeah. So maybe a half hour? No, no, like 10 minutes. Oh, like 10, 10 minutes? minutes? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. So look, you can see them making the fresh yeah. pizza. Yeah, we have the dough. And these are the pizzas that are ready to go in the oven? Yes, for sure. Back here. Yes. And these are the pizza dough that are getting ready for Matthias to spread out and make some pizzas for. And we have toppings. And, we have the ready. and then this is the finished product. And it's really good. Here we have the it cheese is and basil, cheese pizza, pepperoni, tomato, right. and arugula, and uh, sausage and ham. Very nice. Oh, yeah. And calzone. Yes, calzone. Do you have calzone every day? Yes, every day. A different kind every day? Yeah, different kind every day. Very nice. Today's the, the calzone of the day is the sausage and the pepperoni. And you are the third cook. What does that mean to be the third, third cook? cook? Yeah, in the kitchen we have like uh, uh, a yellow food. So we have first cook, second cook, and first cook, and the chef. Okay, yeah. very nice. And then you are from Brazil? Yeah, I'm from Brazil. Would you like to say hi to your family? Hi, my family. <laughs> Wonderful. Hi, Brazil, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, I'm on board for seven months and almost going home. It's time to go home? Yeah. Yes, it's, uh, wonderful. It's December. It's wonderful, yes, wonderful. We can let your family know you, they can see you on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. And this is Sudeep, and what is your title? Sorry. What are you, he's third chef, you're third yes. chef also? Yes, uh, me too. So does the color of your scarf? Yes, yeah, we use the color of our scarf. Uh, we are third cook, yellow scarf, then we have the red scarf, second cook, and green scarf, just like that. Oh, very nice. Yes. And where are you from? I'm from India. Very, very nice. Yes. Would you like to say hello to your family? Yes, absolutely. I would like to say hi, everyone. <laughs> Do you like making the pizzas? Yes, every day I do. I usually work here. This is my station. Every single day, uh, like I have to get different, different pizza. Sometimes uh, it's like um, we have specialty pizza, just like uh, uh, we have Mexican buffets. So I have to get some Mexican pizza, just like the Italian. That sounds great. Do you get to come up with the ideas for the specialties? Yes, yes. Every day I finish, and then I go to my cabin, then I think, think about, about the next yeah, day. What, what, what That's do. wonderful. You get to be creative. Yes, every day. Wonderful. Yes. Sometimes think. it's like bacon and eggs. It's like breakfast pizza. Oh, cool. Uh, <laughs> it's, so what are the hours yeah, of the what? Eggs. What are the hours of the pizza? Actually, we open at twelve until one in the morning. So min so twelve noon to one a.m. Yes. Every day. Yes, every single. Thank you so much. Well, it's a wonderful pleasure to meet you. Yeah. And thank you for your delicious pizza. Yeah. It is very good. I think it's the best pizza at sea. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Take care. So this is some seating area at the back here. And then outside, there's additional seating space. So you can take your pizza or your food from Ocean View Cafe and you can sit out here and eat. And it's a beautiful spot, whether we're in port or at sea, but it's really spectacular when we're at sea. Okay, back inside and we're gonna walk down the other side of the buffet and back out and see if we can't find that husband of mine. He's in here somewhere. This is the seating area back here. They have a drink station where you can help yourself. Coffees, teas, you know, the different kinds of creamers. They have water, ice water, 
orange juice, iced tea, fruit punch, and lemonade, all included. And then this is the regular buffet part again. And they have several of these drink stations throughout the entire buffet area. Here's another one. So they have iced tea and orange juice. And here they have orange juice, iced tea, orange passion fruit guava cocktail. That sounds yummy. And apple juice. And they have regular coffee and decaf coffee. And they have all kinds of teas and all of your mixes. And this is the rest of the seating for the buffet. And then the other side. And they have a carvery where they have fresh meat every day. Today is roasted turkey. Doesn't look like there's much left. I think everybody liked it. They'll bring out another one. So this is the dessert station for lunch. And today's donut day, I guess. Look at all these different kinds of donuts. Amazing. They all look so good. That is the Ocean View Cafe on the Celebrity Edge. We are gonna go back out to 15. And on the starboard side of the ship is the Magic Carpet and the Mast Grill. First, we're gonna show you the Magic Carpet. So they have these cabana spaces that you can rent. And apparently a lot of them are being rented. And this is the magic carpet here on our right. Here we go. It's quite full. Do my best to show you. Magic carpet is open to everyone during the day. It's a bar, lots of little lounge areas to sit. And in the evening they serve dinner. We are actually suspended over the side of the ship right now. It's very cool. That's the magic carpet. And just past the magic carpet is the Mast Grill. Mast Grill is complimentary and they serve hamburgers, hot dogs, turkey burgers. We never got it. Typically, the cheeseburgers and hot dogs are ready. If you want a veggie burger or a turkey burger, you have to request it. They'll cook it for you, and it takes about 30 minutes because they're frozen. But otherwise, you can do a, a hamburger, cheeseburger, and they have toppings and hot dogs. They have toppings and french fries, and then there is the drink station and the condiment station over there. Thank you, Philip. How are you? Good. I'm Philip from Brazil. So you're a fourth cook. Yeah, fourth cook, yeah. Okay, I just met two gentlemen in making pizza that were a third cook. Third cook, yeah, yes. so one level more. Yes. But I, I will get there. Yeah, we'll get there, that's right. <laughs> one you. step at a time. And yeah. this is Dwayne. Hello. Hello, Dwayne. Dwayne is from? Jamaica. Hello, Dwayne I'm from the Jamaica. I'm supervisor. I respond for the cool deck and the salarium. Very nice. You're responsible for the pool deck and the solarium. Yeah. Well, you're doing a wonderful job. Amazing job. They look, they look fantastic. Very fantastic. Great job. We love the crew. Everybody on the edge is amazing. Thank you very much. And I will hope to see you again soon. You absolutely <laughs> will see us again, for sure. Thank you, Dwayne. Thank you. That was the Mast Grill. It's a great place to grab a burger or a hot dog. And you could. it's right next to the solarium here, so you can go there and get something and bring it in here to eat or you could eat from the spa cafe or you can get something from the ocean view buffet and bring it here to eat or at the main pool or wherever that does it for deck 
14. We are now going to continue on to deck 15, and we'll see you there. We are now on deck 15 at the forward elevator bank, and the only thing forward of here is the gym, and we saw that from the spa when we walked up the stairs at deck 14. What is aft of this elevator bank, but still forward on the ship, is the retreat lounge. So this way is forward, and that's where the gym is, and this way is aft of the forward elevator bank, and that's the retreat lounge. This is an area that is accessed for the retreat guests only. Those are guests that are staying in a suite, and we are fortunate enough to be staying in a suite. So you need to scan your card here, and the doors will open. And this is where you can come and relax. It's a beautiful space. You can meet with the future cruises up here. They will make an appointment with you for you to come and sit with them. And they have a continental breakfast. They serve teas, coffees, juices, any kind of drink that you can imagine. If you are in the retreat or in a suite, you most likely have the premium drink package and everything is included. In the afternoons between 3.30 and 4.30, they serve scones and tea. They have an afternoon tea. This is the space. And then they have an outdoor seating space as well. This is the outdoor space for the retreat lounge. And I'm just going to go straight upstairs. This is staircase to the retreat bar, pool, and sun deck. Again, this is only if you are in a suite. Let's take a look. It is probably my favorite place on the ship to spend some relaxation time. It's very large up here, lots and lots of space. They have these little cabanas and they have lots of sun deck chairs, these nice umbrellas. All the seating, it's the same on the other side. Let's walk around. They have villas. It's the entrance to the villa. So if you're in a villa, you have direct access to the retreat sun deck. You need your pass to come in here as well. So we are on deck 16 right now. So if you took the elevator up one more deck from where I was, where I went into the retreat lounge, it would bring you up to the pool deck, but I walked up the stairs instead. And they have their own restaurant up here where they serve lunch. There's a towel station where you could grab some towels. They also have attendants up here serving drinks. Lots and lots of space. Lots of covered space as well. They have their own hot tub, own pool, and restaurant. So this is new. They didn't have these umbrellas before the last time we were on the edge. It's very nice because there wasn't enough area in the shade. That's a quick look at the pool and the hot tub. And over here is the retreat pool restaurant. So you have to order it here and pick it up here. 
They will not deliver the food to your seat, but you can come and get it and take it to your chair. So you can order it and then like 15, 20 minutes later, come back and check and see if it's ready. And then you can go take it to your chair. And then back around the other side. This is the retreat sun deck. So I'm gonna go back down into the lounge and finish deck 15. It was just very easily accessible to show you the pool deck for the retreat right from the retreat lounge. So you could come down here into the retreat lounge from the pool deck down here too. So we're going to go back and finish deck 15. So back through the retreat lounge. Give you one last look. So we just finished the retreat lounge and the retreat sun deck and bar. And now we're going to finish on deck 15. We're going to go aft, but it doesn't walk through. There's the fitness center, which is where we were. And then there's the elevator bank that we're standing in and there's the retreat lounge. And we have the gap and we have the jogging track, etc. We're gonna head outside now to show you the rest of deck 15. Now we are on deck 15 aft. We have the rooftop garden, the sunset bar, and the jogging track. So again, this is deck 15 aft. It's largely a sun deck, but there's also the rooftop garden, restaurant, and the sunset bar. The rooftop garden is a specialty restaurant. So there's a fee associated with it. And you can get there up there, or up these stairs. So this is the rooftop garden area. This is a open seating space for anyone. And it's where they show outdoor movies. So they have an indoor movie at the club. And they have an outdoor movie screen here. And this is the rooftop garden restaurant. And you need to make a reservation. It's the rooftop garden grill. And let's continue on the other side. And we walk all the way around. so pretty up here. The detail is just amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. This country enjoys a highly vetted tradition. But if you think I'm going to give you the little money we have so that you can parade us around in front of the world like a freak show, you've got another thing. It's bad enough when you look back. This is where we went into the rooftop garden. We're just going to continue around.
traditional sun deck chairs. Hello, this is the sunset bar. It's a very popular place to hang out for sail away. It's quite empty right now because we're in port and it's a very hot spot on the ship right now where the sun is positioned. You can continue on this path all the way around. Now we're back on the other side of the rooftop grill. And this green path is the jogging or walking path. And I'm going in the wrong direction. There's another sun deck area. Lots and lots of chairs. This walking, jogging path on the Edge Class Series has an elevation to it. It goes from deck 15 to deck 16. And then back down to 15 as you go around. Two and a half laps equals one kilometer. Four and a half laps equals one mile. Staircase down to that sun deck. Now we're on deck 16. There's another hot tub. There's sun deck areas everywhere. There's lots of staircases to be able to access. So that's the rooftop garden down there on deck 15. But because we came up the elevation, we're on deck 16 now. And just around, oh, let me give you a shot at the pool from above. And we're gonna finish around on this jogging track. And then it'll end on deck 15 because we will go back down then. You take these stairs down. There's another seating area down there. And then those stairs take you down to the pool bar. As you can see guys, there is no shortage of places to sit and hang out, relax, socialize eat, take a nap. It's just amazing. And there is the pool from deck 16 going down to deck 15. It is so pretty. And that over there 
That is the magic carpet. That's the frame for the magic carpet. And that, my friends, brings me to the end of our full ship tour of the Celebrity Edge. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. I very much enjoyed showing it to you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. And as always, we hope you have a wonderful day.